what up guys just got home from a 20 something hour drive uh, made a little pit stop for some parts which you guys will see in thursday's video i got some wheels I'll let you know now i got some wheels but i'm not going to show them to you but we are going to attempt today allegedly the racing line intake doesn't fit like the mark 7 and 7.5 um, intakes won't fit the golf r the gti the a3 s3 because it, it'll rub I guess like the charge pipe and charge pipes are different now. They're, I think they're kind of like a pancake pipe pancake pipe and we'll get a better look once we're out there but I didn't even want to try and because if it did fit I'd want to run it and the filter I have on there is the foam filter and it's old and raggedy and uh, just junk so hit up my boy Sean from it's not stock LLC again and baby you want to hold the camera quick? Okay, boom okay perfect we got ourselves oh, we mean to get this filter for a while i had two racing line foam filters and now we get the the paper one so see if this makes any more or any less sound i don't need to oil it or anything this is actually really nice check that out mm. high perf high flow filtration system for perfect performance that's nice it's a nice unit and, uh, and a popper to go with it so we're gonna go shove this in the old intake and uh, see if she fits in the car oh she's gorgeous Woo, almost showed you guys uh, the wheels Shoo. all right so we got that we'll see I hit up racing line because they made a post about putting their intake on whatever car and there's two different versions for the coolant line and then I don't know what the difference is so I'm waiting to put this on until I hear back from them on what uh, I mean because there's two of them now so I don't know if this one's sufficient if there's like higher pressures in the new coolant system and this might split which I doubt because it's like layered silicone or whatever but I don't know we'll see if this hose fits and uh, try and make this intake fit All right, so here you can see, well, I guess it doesn't look that bad because I, I cleaned it not all that long ago, but this thing has been in and out of this car for a very, you can see it has the old Racing Line logo on it. I've had this filter literally since I got the intake. This filter outlasted the second filter I bought for this intake actually, so. This thing had a great life, but it's, uh, it's going in garbage. And this guy should just slide right down on in, like so. Boom. Snug it back down, we're good to go. Alright guys, don't make fun of me. I uh, Most of my tools are at work in my toolbox, so I kind of only have some of my half-assed tools here at home. I didn't expect to be doing this. As soon as I got back from our little vacation, we just had our baby shower out in Minnesota. So, yeah. I'm going to grab what looks like a T25 these should be able to pop this out pop this out and then slide a new one in all right so we got these screws out one here one here and this should all just kind of these things are always ridiculously down jeez all right already breaking stuff we'll see sitting like this so you got the air dam like this is barely this, you guys can see here no air is going in there and that's like directly into this it was only coming through here and there was just this flap that kind of uh, so this flap would be closed and it would direct it so yeah this thing this other intake will definitely be a lot better airflow wow I didn't realize it was that kind of restricted I give you guys a look down in here once I pull the rest of this intake out. All right, so digging in here, if you guys are familiar with your own engine bay, I mean, I never had a DSG car, so there's a little bit more wiring and stuff, but at least the battery's in the back for me. You can see the different cables running across here for, it's got two latches for the hood, so I'm assuming that's what all that stuff is for. You can see, you still you can't really see, but this hose, this guy right here is the hard pipe. 
this routes up into the inlet can you see that there routes right into the inlet there it goes all the way down and the diverter valve is on the throttle body so that's pretty interesting i'm wondering where the intake would hit and i would i would assume it's around here the charge piping is quite different too you can see it gets like big there it has some stuff around it here it's very interesting to see another thing i want to check out is there actually a cat on the downpipe right away and honestly i can't really tell um oh yeah that's definitely a cat right there you guys can't tell in the video but that is a cat right there so the two i don't know i'll put a video uh, picture right here these two things that i thought were cats down below which they still could be i didn't feel for a sensor which i should have i'm dumb but i believe it's ops which is like particle filters usually it's something they have on diesels but now they're putting them on petrol engines so um basically they reduce noise reduce emissions and uh they're ugly and they're gonna get cut out all right we're gonna go ahead and see if this fits i think this size you see this is already rubbing on whatever pipes i, I think this is rubbing on the cts pipes when i had them but i think that's gonna rub there if i had to guess i hate this damn thing i'm gonna tell you that it's almost makes it impossible it's one of my favorite mods is getting rid of that damn coolant line Just slug it up under there one way or another maybe not all right, so the first obstacle is this, which I can swap out, but I'm waiting here back on an answer. ECU wiring was kind of in the way, and then the AC line was kind of, I had to kind of like push this back, and now this corner right here, I can't get the pass. So I'm gonna cut this and see if it slides in. This seems to be the only thing preventing it from going in. And uh, we'll see how it rubs down there. I might have to cut like section the box off like cut part of the corner off down there and i'll just put some like uh what's it called dey heat tape uh, it's not going to affect anything so saves me a bunch of money instead of buying a new intake but this fits right on it seems so that's good we're going to chop this off real quick and see how she fits using what we got handy All right, guys, she's in. I'm not going to say I recommend doing this unless you're uh, pinching pennies or bored like me. But, it, I mean, it does fit. doesn't fit greatly. Um, it's definitely rubbing that, uh, that pipe I was just telling you guys about right there for the diverter valve. And then this hose, it goes from a, a smaller diameter to a larger diameter on the intake. This is kind of stretched. I had to, like, reroute it. Instead of going around here and cutting, I, I brought it through here and going up. And it's like, not on there the greatest, I would say. Got a little bit too much tension on it. If it wasn't two different diameters, like I have hose, but it doesn't, doesn't sit right. But this is like, I guess it doesn't matter because this is capped off. It doesn't really even do anything. So, um, I just have this sitting there just like that. Like a, if I just... I could swap this out for a regular tee if I had uh, two different sizes, but let me just leave that there for now. It should be, should be fine, right? I hope. <laughs> but I just don't know if there's like a hole. I have to like stick something in in there because normally that's where we put a boost tab, and I wouldn't imagine there's a hole there already unless they just made it really easy for us, which would be nice. And we'll find out. I'll start the engine and uh, put my finger on it see if we get any vacuum. All right, she's starting the car. We'll see if we have a leak there or if you hear any sound of me. I don't feel anything at all. Nope. Give it up, baby rev. Interesting. The air is going to have to be coming through, like down here up into there like i don't know what's going on like actually in inside of here i mean we could pop these little rivets off and see maybe i can feel yeah I just the air gets sucked in through the grill and goes up into this little cowling and then into here 
and then we go. There we go. It does fit. It does work. Last time you guys will be seeing it on these stock wheels. I'll show you guys a little preview here. Oh! Um, well, it works. Let's see, uh, really concerned. I don't know why they made this like this. Why didn't they just use a regular team? Maybe they just didn't want the wires like flinging everywhere. I could just pop back in and see it really puts some pressure on it. So we'll see what racing line comes out with. Well, I'll just go get some. Get back. Get back, sir. Get back. See my mess of all these parts I gotta get up into the into the attic. <laughs> um sorry guys, my camera died. Can't show you guys too much because the wheels are sitting here. But Definitely doesn't feel like we have a leak, so I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna get some different hose for this, and we'll uh, we'll call it a day. It's, uh, hopefully, we get some extra induction noise. I'll try and get a clip for you guys. I doubt we're gonna hear anything at all because sounds traveling. You know, it's locked air all the way in, so there's no way we're gonna be hearing. You know what I mean? I don't think I really hear a difference. But more airflow for the motor, never a bad thing, right? Can't argue with that. And it was free. Just had to chop it up a little bit, threw in a new filter. We're good to go. I'm down with it. So, if I do get a clip, I'll throw it in on the end here. Actually, no, because I need to edit this tonight. Today's Sunday. You guys are going to actually be seeing this tomorrow. So, Thursday's video, when we get these new set of wheels on and go out with the draggy, um, I'll let you guys know what I think. It'll be a couple days from now. I need to get in and edit. And I'm hungry. We haven't had a real meal in front. We didn't even look to see if we had meat to thaw out to put on the grill. It's still kind of early. I hate daylight, daylight savings. It's 5.30. It feels like 9. Ugh. Anyway, race line intake fits. If you guys plan on getting a, a Mark 8 or an 8Y, it seems like a good bit of the parts are going to switch over. So that's a that's an A-plus to me. It saves me 400 dollars Even though I bought a new filter, I was like 160 But still, nice with it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. We still got the EQT uh, grounding kit that needs to go in. It gets rid of all these ugly grounds on the coil packs. You get to pin them, put the new pins in, and then this there'll be a wire that hangs out, and then you just throw it to like a chassis ground over here. Um, is there one on this? Oh yeah, right there, boom, chassis ground, right there. So we'll do that sometime this week as well. We well, guys actually probably won't see it till next week, but I need to borrow a deep pinner. It's a very simple process, so I'm excited to do that. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Let me know if there's anything specifically you guys want to see or want to know about or want me to look into or anything. Like, I'm totally up for all and any ideas. Um, just let me know. Just let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. So I did go out for a quick drive after putting the new wheels on, make sure everything was good and dandy. You definitely can hear more noise. I'm honestly surprised. I guess I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. Um, you can definitely hear a lot more induction sound. It's not very loud or anything crazy. I didn't get the engine warmed up the whole way, so I couldn't do like a full pool and really hear, but with the windows slightly cracked, you could definitely hear it. Um, even with music off, just driving, you can hear it. So 10 10 for me.